the sources of the watery depths and the floodgates of the sky were closed and the rain from the sky stopped. So God, in his power, is not just blowing a wind across, but he stops adding water to the flood. That's kind of important for a flood to subside. I don't think I have to explain that further, but I want to, but I'm not going to, (laughs) but I want you to pay attention to this. God has authority over and power over the natural realm, over nature. And if that's true of God, then what does that say about that Jesus character in the New Testament in the Gospels who stood up after his disciples woke him up because the storm was so bad as they were on the Sea of Galilee that the disciples who were, several were fishermen and had probably seen some good storms before, thought they were going to die. Jesus! You remember, can you imagine? Jesus, what's the matter, guys? Storm, we're gonna drown! Drown? Drowned. I don't know what the right word is there. And Jesus just, peace be still. Wind stop. Wave stop. Jesus relates himself, and the author of the Gospels connects that reality that Jesus is Elohim. He's God. 